and Goldenrod. I mean, Goldenrod. <coughs> we're gonna have, uh, we're gonna have Mimi do some work out here. Not Mimi, my bad, I'm sorry. We're gonna have Hex Girl do some work out here, right? Now, Hex Girl isn't gonna be our main lead for the, uh, actually, kind of, somewhat. We'll figure it out. But, and Pokemart, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, oh, Goldenrod has the Supermart. Oh, yeah. Has the department store, so... Department store is gonna be a mainstay in the series, you know? Uh, we've seen it in, uh, Gym 1 or whatever back in... Whatever the fuck that town was called, wherever you get the guy, the tea, and shit, and all that dumb stuff. Um, but yeah. Super, super Mega Marts. I just wanna buy... I wanna buy, like, five of these. Thank you. Why am I saying thank you to a fucking NPC? God damn it. <laughs> I'm getting too into my game. Alright. So I'm gonna go fight Whitney. Also, uh, while we're here in Goldenrod, you wanna make sure... Uh, well, there's the underground, right? Yeah, uh, the station. So you can go underground and fight some trainers down there to get some experience. Uh, over here, you see a Team Rocket member? So, this is the radio tower. What do you want, you pest? Scram. They're planning some shit for the future, right? Um, and then... While we're here at the radio tower, there's actually something we need to do. This is gonna come handy in the future. Uh... Is it you? Welcome. Is it you? No, it's you. We have a special quiz campaign right now. Answer five questions correctly to win a radio card. Slide into your Poke Gear to play the radio anytime, anywhere. Would you like to take the quiz? Yes. Question 1. Is there a Pokemon that appears only in the morning? Yes. Correct. Question 2. Is there... Is this statement correct? You can't buy a berry at, at a mart. Yes. Bullseye. Question 3. Does HM1 contain Flash? No. Far good. Question 4. Is Falconer the, Vi uh, the Violet Gym Leader? Yes. Who uses bird Pokemon? Yes, he is. Wow, right again. Here's the final question. Do Goldenrod Game Corner slots have a Charmander on the reels? No. Bingo, you got it. Here's your prize. I'm surprised that I even fucking remember that Charmander bullshit. Please tune into the radio. So, get the radio card. You're gonna need that. And I think think over here? Hi, I'm, I'm Buna. Buna? Bu Bu Buni? I don't know. Do you know a radio program called Password? If you tell me the password from the program, you will earn points. Save up those points and trade them for a sweet, a sweet young lady over there for some choice prizes. Here you go. It's your very own point card. Blue card. Tune in for the Password Show. Alright. Um, keep going. There's someone. I think. Oh, I guess we gotta come here later. Sorry, authorized personnel only beyond this point. Alright, we gotta come back. Because I'm pretty sure there's something that we have to get in the radio tower. Uh, in the radio tower? Yeah, in the radio station. <coughs> For something way later. Something way later way later into the game, but I remember that I have to get something from the radio station. So just do that for now. Over here... What is this place? If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they'll love you in return. Oh, let me see your Mr. Red. Quite cute. That thing hates me. Is this the flower? Psychopath, the bike shop. You don't want to grab a bike while you're here, too. I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles. Why is that? Did you write the bicycle and advertise for me? Hell yeah. Really? Great. Give me your phone number. I'll load you- I'll loan you a bicycle. There you go. And once you ride it around enough, guess what? The guy will call you and be like, Hey man, you're doing great. Thanks. Keep the bike. But, make sure you get your bike. Uh, what's the other? Where is the, uh, oh, here's the flower shop. Sweet. Have you seen the wiggly tree that grows on the Route 36? My little sister got all excited and went to see it. I'm worried, isn't it dangerous? 
Okay, I think we gotta talk to her later. Can we head to Route 36 right now? Because one of them has the, uh... Someone has the fucking... The, uh... The watering can that we used to get past the tree. That special tree that isn't really a tree. Are they up here? You said Route 36, right? Yeah, 35 hooks into 36. Okay, great. So, here in Goldenrod, <sighs> it's time. So, guess what? If Faulkner's Pidgeotto didn't fuck you up, which, you know, pretty standard, and if Bugsy Scyther didn't give you a hard time, you know, sometimes it does, depending on what depending on where your Pokemon are, it's, you know, level 17 is a pretty big jump in that area. Then Whitney's Miltank might give you a run for your money. So, let's head on in, damn it. We're gonna have Hex Girl take the lead. And, yeah, just get on with our lives, right? So, I mean... Obligatory Pokemon fact that we have to say, right? Give it your best shot, or I'll take you down. Is that Whitney's gym is in the shape of a fucking Clefairy or whatever the hell, right? And Whitney out here is good with the normal types. It's a normal type gym. <coughs> so you run in here with a fighting type, you're pretty good, right? Uh, I'm using Mischievous. Mischievous is a ghost type. And normal doesn't affect ghosts, so that's pretty good, right? But, you know, you won't you won't have a mischievous, right? And as long as any of these Pokemon don't know any dark moves, we're pretty good. Psy so Wave is a psychic ability. Might take some time, but you know. Alright, you know dark moves, that's great. Now you're missing. That's fantastic. Oh my god, why did I why did I put you in the lead, Hex Girl? Come on, carry your weight. At least do something. Don't, don't, don't miss the next one, please. Thank you. I want you to carry your weight and do something, Hex Girl. There we go. Next Pokemon is another Meowth. I'm gonna keep you in so you can get the experience, but we're switching you out. I'm gonna switch you out for our boy, Miles Maractus. Now, of course, Night Shade not gonna work, because, you know, ghost type and all that. But that's why we got Poison Sting, right? Not as good. Oh, please don't. Come on. My attack stat is the only thing I got going for me. You fucked me over, Meowth. You fucked me over. You know what? Oh, shit. I didn't mean to click that. I meant to click, uh,. I meant to click Constrict. You know what, Maractus? You deserve that. You deserve that. You deserve that. Alright, Mimi, get out there. Not, not having a good go at it, it seems. As long as it doesn't know a dark move, we're good. It knows a dark move. Oh shit. Which is exactly why I bought these. I mean, eh, fuck it. I was gonna use my potions, but we're we're near a we're near a goddamn Pokemon Center. We'll we'll just go there. Where the fuck's Pokemon Center? Is it above me? No, it's below. As above, so below, Nathan Drake would say. <laughs> All right, so first fight in there had a meowth that new that new bite. All right, you know what? Uh, a bit of a problem But I believe in you I Believe in you Hex girl. I do I do I do So 
try this again. I like you, but I won't hold back. Lady, I'm trying to earn my gen badge, and you are clearly coming on to me. I'm also a child. Alright, Sentry, great. You shouldn't know it. You should not know a fucking dark, dark move at all. Side wave. Oh my fucking god, I hate. Fucking hate side wave so much. Can you learn, like, confusion or something? Psychic? Oh my god. You know, while, while we're sitting here and I'm just gonna press the A button and die on the inside, I'm gonna look up how Psy Wave works. Did you miss? Shy Wave inflicts a random amount of damage varying between 1 damage and 1.5 the user's level. And Link Battle damage deal dealt varies between 1 damage and 1.5 the user's level on the user's side. Between 0 damage and... Uh, such a random fucking bullshit move. It's basically, it's basically the psychic version of... Uh, of nightshade, but not a, but not, but not a good one. <coughs> not a good one. You got, you got a hex girl. Oh my fucking Christ! I hate this move so much. We're at. Wait, hold up. We're in Goldenrod. I can see if I can buy something else that. Mischievous can learn. After this fight, we're gonna fucking we're gonna run to the department store. Oh my god! The, the, the least you can do is hit the fucking Pokemon. Can't even use Confuse right because that's a ghost move, right? I'm getting messages on Discord. What the hell? Hey. Hex girl, can you like not keep missing your attack? You got three of them left. God damn it. You got one fucking job. Do it. Christ. Oh my god, there's another Pokemon. Another fucking Citric. Fuse Ray doesn't work on you, right? That's a that's a ghost move. Or is it like one of the things that okay. Alright. It uh you know it It's not an attacking move, I guess, so it goes. Alright. But fucking hurt yourself a little bit, please. My last side wave. Hurt yourself, please. Until you kill yourself, this is what we're doing. This is what we're doing. Get confused again. Unless I have like an ether. Which I don't think I do. Your defense can't go any higher. Stop it. Fucking Christ. Yeah, no, uh... Oh, I do. <coughs> Confuse no more. It took you one turn to snap out of confusion. It took you one turn to snap out of confusion. Really? There you go. See, there we go. God damn it. 
Please learn a new move. Let's see. Oops, it's over. So, Mischievous is a Pokemon that mostly learns defensive moves. Which makes it a pain in the ass to have around. <sighs> Alright, department store. Do your thing. Alright, is this the TM corner? Nope. Are you the TM corner? Nope. What do you sell? What the fuck am I? This is... My bad, that's upstairs. This is upstairs. Okay. Oh, I had a moment. There we go. You sell protein and stuff. Upstairs. There we go. Electric punch. Fire punch. Ice punch. An attack that may make a foe flinch. I don't know what the fuck. What? Wait, that's just headbutt, right? You know what, Mr. Riss? You gotta learn headbutt. You gotta learn you gotta learn something. What do I got on me? Fury cutter. You gotta learn something, Mr. Riss. You're gonna growl. <coughs> you gotta learn something, Mr. Riss. I don't... What about you? You got anything for me? Oh wait, shit. I went back downstairs. Fucking Christ. Alright, this is just a room. Have some drinks at the vending machine. How about you shut your mouth? Do you listen to Lucky Channel? No, I don't. Is there a TM up here? Don't you give me something? Collecting all the dolls? No, I'm thinking of Gen 1. I think this is where you get, like, Ice Beam or something. You quit bothering me? Oh, go fuck yourself. Hey, some trainers are battling on the road. Pokemon fired a flurry of leaves. Makes me feel like battling right now. Is it the one with the green roof? Alright. Uh, so, guess what? Finding a TM is a big failure on my part. So, I'm just gonna cross my fucking... Fingers and hope, and hope that uh, and hope that mischievous learns something useful. But right now, headbutt is what we got, which is not good because mischievous is not a not a physical attacker, special attacker. But it mostly learns defensive skills. Ha. <sighs> Why did I choose this fucking Pokemon to use? This just sucks in this game. But you know what? You never really see people use a Mr. Riss, so... Eh. Give me some brownie points for that. <coughs> Don't let my cute Pokemon looks fool you. They'll whip you. Oh, okay. So you're that type of girl, huh? A snubble, who will most definitely no bite. Oh my god, Mr. Biz, headbutt. I should have used Confuse Ray on you first. That headbutt's not too bad on Mr. Let's get that Confuse Ray out there. Hopefully you can fuck yourself up.
Nice job. Headbutt's not too bad on Mr. Wrist either. It's not doing as much damage as a fucking special attack can do, but you know what? It's doing damage. That was a good fight, Mr. Wrist. I'm proud of you. Darn. I thought you were weak. You know what? I thought Mr. Wrist was a little bit weaker than I gave it credit for. I like you Pokemon better than strong Pokemon, but I have strong and cute Pokemon. Alright. She wants the battle. Sending out Jigglypuff. You won't know a dark move, but you'll definitely know Sing. And your defense is super high, so... Gonna confuse Ray you before you put me to sleep and make me wish I was dead. Fuse Ray putting in some work. Get that side wave out there. Hmm. Confuse no more. Disable. Ah, oh, fuck. Side wave was my only chance of a short battle. So now, uh. Now it's gonna be a long battle. Yeah, it's still hurting yourself, though. Oh, wow, not gonna be as long as the battles I thought. Oh my god, that wasn't even a critical. You know what? Maybe giving a Pokemon that's 90% fucking head. Giving it headbutt? Good idea. Good idea. Fucking great idea. You're doing it, Mr. Biss. You're doing way better than I thought you would. I don't even need to use Confuse Ray anymore. Now that I see how much damage you do with that fucking skull of yours. Look at that. Oh my god. And it flinched. Oh my god. Kick its ass. Hell yeah, Hex Girl. Put in that word. Fucking big brain moves. Oh my god, you're level 19. I didn't even notice. Trying to learn? Mean look. Mean look just makes it so they can't escape, right? You know what? I'm not gonna be using Spite, honestly. And Mean Look might be pretty useful in the future. Only for one specific thing. Jigglypuff. Give it a HEPA. Fucking Mega Brain out here. Fucking Mega Mine out here. I should have called you Mega Mine. Holy shit. Defense Curl. You can't defend yourself from these big brain moves. Side wave. Still disabled? How long does that shit go on for? Oh, now it's not disabled. Right. Damn, Hex Girl. Putting in that fucking work. Honestly, I thought this would be a bad. This, this would. Oh, man. Learning new things. Alright, I'm gonna head to the Pokemon Center because Headbutt's getting a little bit low. Right? And we're about to fight Whitney, so... I just want to get all that mojo back before, uh, before getting my ass beat by multi. Now, I would put Hex Girl into the fight for next... I mean, I'm going to, right? But, the problem is this. This game doesn't have abilities yet. So Mr. Riss doesn't have Levitate. <coughs> right? Since Mr. Riss doesn't have Levitate, that means it's, well, rollout's a fucking rock move anyways, it's not a ground move. Um, and that's the main problem with Miltake. It has, it has Attract? I think it has Attract. It has Attract, Stomp, Milk Drink, and Rollout. Right? So a Ghost Type would be pretty good, you know, if it had a move that can hit a Normal Type. But the thing you gotta watch out for is rollout. It gets strong. It, you know, once the Pokemon uses it, it's the only move it can use, but it gets stronger as it keeps going. Right? And Miltank is very defensive, has good physical attack. Stomp is a move in which the heavier the Pokemon is, the more damage it does. Miltank, big fat cow. Right? Milt Drink, it can heal itself. 
It's a tinky ass Pokemon. And then attract, of course, is if you put anything out there that's a fucking different, that's a different gender than that Pokemon, it's gonna be infatuated with love, which pretty much lasts throughout the whole entire fucking fight. So it's having that on top of like, on top of like paralysis that you might get from. Is it Stomp or Body Slam that it has? It might have Body Slam over Stomp. If it has Body Slam, then being attracted and paralysis and all this other shit, and the Pokemon being super tanky, it's a pain in the ass, right? Hi, I'm Whitney. Everyone was into Pokemon, so I got into it too. Pokemon are super cute. You can't, you wanna like, battle? I'm, where, I'm warning you though, I'm like really, really good. So of course, there's the Milk Tank horror stories. And then there are some people who are like, I never had a problem with Milk Tank, I just used a fighting type Pokemon, which whoopee for you, dickhead. You wanna take the easy way out, sure. But here's Clefairy. I think this one might know Metronome. But you know what? Clefairy's a special defender. So hit it with that fucking giant Mega Mine of yours. Oh, actually it has more defense than I thought. Uh, metronome! Scary, 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 scary. Leech life? Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. Actually, since you're gonna be using Metronome, and I'm afraid that you might use something crazy, like fucking, I don't know, Earth Power or some shit, Draco Meteor, I'm gonna hit you with Confusion. There you go. Side wave. Get a good one. Get a good one. There we go. Hell yeah. You're doing a great job, X Girl. You're doing a fucking bang up job. Nice. Pinkers and Nash. Level 20. Alright. Can Hex Girl. Can you do it? Special attack 44. Special defense. Oh my god. Special defense is actually a little bit than I thought. And your speed is way. Oh my god. You got some pretty good stats, actually. <laughs> pretty okay stats. Alright. Here comes Milk Tank. It's a tank made of milk. <coughs> <coughs> Level 20. We got this. Confuse Ray. Oh, you missed. Bitch. Rollout is the thing I'm scared of. Okay. You bastard. Oh, you missed again. Let's go. Confuse Ray. Double time. Alright. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, do I risk the side wave? Because it's going to eat a headbutt, right? Oh, let's go. No, don't miss. Mm, let's go. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. I love you, Hex Girl. I love you, Hex Girl. Oh my god, I'm loving you right now. Fucking perfect. You just got Street Fighter perfect. She didn't even fucking use a potion or a milk drink. Get your dumbass fucking cow out of my face. Dishonor you, dishonor your family. Son on your cow? Get that level up, girl. You deserve that. Fucking champion, let's go. I take back everything I said about you, Hex Girl. I love you. Sob. Hey, you better cry, bitch. You shouldn't be so serious, you child, you. What do you mean I shouldn't be so serious? You're a pain in my ass. I will say, it is very, 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 very. I'm stalling because I forgot the word I'm looking for. <laughs> it's, uh, what's the word? <coughs> what's the word I'm looking for? Um, rewarding, I guess. It's very rewarding that if Mill takes Emmy a problem and you beat Whitney, the thing that happens is that she cries about it. I love it. 
you meanie. And then she cries, and then she doesn't give you the tin badge. Oh no, you made Whitney cry. It's okay, she'll stop soon. She always cries when she loses. What? You want you want a badge? Oh yeah, right, I forgot. Here, it's the plain badge. Cause I'm a basic bitch. What's up? Hex girl. Doing it. You tell me that the alt chick kicked the shit out of your fucking your fucking uh, goody two shoes next door neighbor girl? That's great. You can now use strength outside of battle. Oh, you can have this one too. TM45. What is it? A tra is it a tract or is it a rollout? Oh, it's a tract. It makes full use of a Pokemon's charm. Isn't it just perfect for a cutie like me? I will not comment. And just like that, <coughs> we are out of here. Say goodbye to the Clefairy gym structure. Oh my god. Oh my god. See, I was expecting, like, rollout to hit once and, like, maybe two times, and then fucking Hex Girl was out of there, just dead on the ground, and then everyone else would have to pick up the slack. I was prepared for Dat Boy to fucking do it. Because in my test playthrough, Dat Boy was the one who had, like, an all out war with Milk Tank. They just kept going at each other, and it wouldn't stop. Right? But in my test playthrough, I didn't have Mr. Vis with me. I had to wait till I got to Mount Silver to get it. Right? <coughs> the Hex Girl? Holy shit, you, you pulled through. You did a great job. And not only that, you also caught up with the rest of the team. Right? You deserve a break. I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you. All right, now Goldenrod's down. I am so proud of that fucking Pokemon. All right. So, one more thing I want to do. Uh, are you going to the gym? Me too. Well, I just kicked her ass. Before uh, this part gets ended, right? I want to, um... I want to level up uh, Miles Maractus. Because my test playthrough should have evolved by now. Right, and I think it evolves at level 22. So, let's get it there. Right, oh, I forgot. Ah, you can survive another hit. I believe in you. It's a critical. My life is over. Good job, Miles Magnus. Fifteen, though. Uh, kind of cutting it close. So, uh, let's just... I'm gonna get rid of these potions, because we don't really need them anymore. We're beyond potions now. We don't need them where we're going. <coughs> let's get in some fights. I'm gonna show my girlfriend I'm hot stuff. By beating up a little kid, hell yeah. Sandshrew. Not bad, not bad. Sandshrew's cute. Love it. I like Sandshrew, it's adorable. I don't like using Sandshrew. Or Sandslash. But kinda just not that good at Pokemon. But then, you know... Fucking the Alola region gave him the ice versions, which I've never tried before, so yeah. Level 21. We gotta get you to 22. I think that's when you evolve. Meryl. And of course, keep a nightshade because I mean, come on, man. The. You know, the stronger you get, the stronger nightshade gets. Now it does 21 damage. Roll out? Fucking Christ. Way to miss, dumbass. Only a hundred? I wish you would have loss for me. 
boyfriend's weak, so I can't rely on him. Fucking pathetic. What a fucking pathetic loser. Oh my god, it's Pikachu! Look at this fucking cute little cat mouth it got. Get it with this nightshade. Guess what, motherfucker? Doesn't matter if you growl at me, nightshade ain't gonna change. There you go. Quick attack. Ouch. And now you should give me a thousand experience, right? Oh shit. Alright, well I'll take it. 280. Oh my, you're so strong. I just recently became single. I've been getting Pokemon data off my radio. I think I'm good. I think I got this. I've been I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos. I think I can handle this. Alright, Ivan. Show me what you got. You got a dickwit. Nice. Ooh. That means you got like what? Fucking 23 health or something? Magnitude, fucking Christ. Alright, not too bad. Zubat? I'll keep you in, but Zubat's gonna kick my ass, right? And it's level 10, maybe you can get it. Nightshade? Nope, I'm dead. Oh, you use Supersonic. And another Diglett. I can take you out. But I'm out of Nightshade, right? Oh no, I still got more. Another eight? Fucking Christ, dude. Ooh. That's a strong one. It's a level 14, too. I'm gonna play it safe. I'm gonna play it safe. Try to take me out with a scratch? Try to bitch me? How does Diglett scratch anyways? How does it dick? Alright, level 22, I think you evolve. I give... What? Miles Maractus is evolving. Hell yeah! Congratulations! Spinarak is evolved into Ariados. Or Ariados, however the fuck you wanna fucking pronounce it, whatever, I don't give a shit. Alright! Now that we got ourselves a Ariados, right? <coughs> and all my Pokemon are pretty much around the same level. It's time for, uh. It's time for Mimi to take the lead again. You guys are doing fucking fantastic. I am so proud of my team. Love you guys. I love you guys so goddamn much. But yeah, that's gonna be it for now. We you know we defeated Whitney, made it to Goldenrod, moving on to our next destination. All we need left right now is to go and get Surf. And once we get Surf, oh, actually, I think our next destination might actually have another teammate for us. So I think. I think next part we're gonna be getting our next teammate but not only that um if the next gym does give us surf which i'm not sure if it does or not i think we need to go a little bit further but once we get surf we'll be able to get our we'll be able to get another teammate right so you know next next part definitely probably will have a teammate in it for us might be a little bit more because I'm not sure if we learn surf until we see Jasmine. Is that her name? I think that's her name, right? Yeah, Jasmine. Yeah. Yeah. 
whatever. Until we gotta go and uh, help out the Ampharos and stuff like that. But, until then, we've been doing good and made some nice progress. I am very proud of Hexdoor right now. I am so happy that that went so well and so smoothly. Didn't hurt whatsoever. But, this isn't it for Pokemon. We got more adventure coming up. So, if you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If not subscribe to the channel. Think about subscribing. And, you know, if you want to check out more of my stuff, I got a Twitch, right? That's in the description. And I also have a Twitter. That's in the description as well. So check those out if you're interested, right? So, yeah, that's everything I wanted to say for now. So as always, I want to say thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. As always, stay happy, stay healthy, and take care. I'm a chef, chef too.